So, this is DVLA's new portable speaker. Portable in quotation marks because it's not really all that portable at 2.3 kilograms. But I must say, it sounds pretty darn good. Hey guys, we have the DVLA Mania speaker with us today and I actually quite like it. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. So, let's talk design first. The first time I saw the speaker, I thought it looked like a kettlebell, but of course, far more luxurious. You get a spherical, eyeball-esque look to the speaker with push-push configuration woofers on either side and a small handle at the top for carrying around. There are four full-range drivers that you'll be somewhat able to see underneath the fabric covering. It might not be too obvious on camera, but in real life, there's a slight puckering of the fabric where it covers the grills. So yeah. The unit we have with us today is the more expensive Paris Opera uh, edition that comes with a 24 karat moon gold plating. It looks very elegant, sure, but it's also priced at 1,760 Singapore dollars or approximately 400 Singapore dollars more expensive than the regular edition which comes in at 1,360 Singapore dollars. But the Paris Opera Edition does come with the wireless charging dock included, which is priced at 129 Singapore dollars, if that helps to soften the blow a little. Anyway, back to the design. The handle has a rubber coating to it and it extends to the sides and bottom of the speaker. On either side of the speaker, you get three buttons. One side holds the play pause and volume up and down buttons, while the other side has the power button, the Bluetooth pairing button, and the last button is actually to check the battery level of the speaker. Let's move on to software. You need to get the DVLA app, which will then allow you access to stuff like a limited EQ for the bass and treble, active stereo calibration, and yeah, that's about it. The app is really simplistic, and there's not really a lot of features to toggle on or off. The most important one would be active stereo calibration, which makes use of the speakers for microphones to adjust the sound based on the room. So basically, if you have the speaker in the middle of the room, it'll blast sound out equally in 360 stereo. But if you put it, you know, um, against the wall, it will adjust the output of the two drivers uh, nearer to the wall and such. Another cool feature that DVLA has included would be speaker active matching, which works in tandem with the woofers to really pump out bass. As for connectivity, there's no analog uh, output, so you will have to stream your music uh, over Bluetooth, of which the speaker supports Bluetooth 5.0. Aside from that, there's also AirPlay 2 and Spotify Connect. The speaker does support Alexa, but I don't use it, so yeah. There's a 3200 mAh battery inside that DVLA says can last up to 10 hours, but of course, this is very dependent on how loud you're using the speaker and such. There is, however, a USB-C charging port, which is nice, and there's also the option for the wireless charging pad, although that's an additional purchase. There is IPX4 water resistance here, so it will hold up to splashes of water, but at this price point, I would really be quite careful with the speaker regardless. And now, sound quality. I must say, I'm actually not the biggest fan of DVLA when it comes to speakers, as I generally find them slightly overpriced. But for the Mania, I think the sound quality is actually quite worth the money. I've been using this primarily on my desk next to me while I've been working, and you know, the moment I first put on Billie Eilish's Bad Guy, wow. The bass that this speaker can pump out is actually quite insane. It's deep, textured, and powerful. But more than that, the mids and the treble is so clear and distinct, and DVLA's managed to do all of that in such a small footprint. Granted, it's kinda dense and slightly heavy, but the fullness and richness of the sound is just incredible. And of course, the soundstage is fantastic. It fills the room, it's immersive and all. The one thing I will note is that if you are listening to songs that have, uh, you know, instruments running from left to right and the likes, 
you will notice that it's not quite as precise. But honestly, it's just how these 360 degree stereo speakers are. For the most part, positioning and all is perfectly fine. If you have cash to burn, by all means, you might like the Paris Opera version. For most people though, there should really be no sound difference compared to the normal one, so I would certainly, myself at least, buy the normal one and save that extra bit of cash for something else. But this is a very impressive speaker and I've thoroughly enjoyed having it on my desk for the past week. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the DVLA Mania speaker. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till next one, see you guys!